Now, athletes tend to get nicknames based on their personality, their athletic ability, their behavior, basically anything that catches on. Now, what we're going to do here for the second round is we're going to play at the buzzer, because we have a buzzer. But first, let's get to meet our contestants. So, Josh, tell us a little bit about being in the championship arena for the Bulls. Well, uh, that was back in uh, like in the 90s uh, when they had their uh, three-peat twice, um, you know, 90, 91, 92, 93, that first one, then 95, 96, 97, 98, those years. So I was at the championship game when the Bulls, um, they actually won the championship the three times they actually won it at home. And you know, it was just a great feeling seeing all the confetti, um, all the players celebrate. It was just a great time. I loved it. Out of those games, which one do you think was the best one to be at? Um, I'd probably say Jordan's last one just because, you know, it was his last championship, and just to go out in that style is pretty remarkable. Excellent. Well, you've made it so far I'm into the next round, but let's meet your competitor for this one. Now, Dan, you've also had some experience with the Chicago Bulls and some championships, so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, the uh, final championship they won, they were up three games to one in that series and had a chance to close it at home in Game 5 against Utah. And earlier that day, um, the, night, the night of the game, earlier that day, I had been there, and after they put confetti in the scoreboard, I was the one that raised the scoreboard back up. So that was kind of cool. But they didn't win that night, so nobody got to see the confetti. Oh, that's, that's a shame, yep. but de definitely a unique experience nonetheless for Absolutely. You. So that's pretty awesome. Now, both of you guys are from the Chicago area, which we kind of had in the first episode. We had a Chicago showdown. So uh, congrats for making it this far, but let's go over the rules for the second round. A total of 10 questions will be asked, and for each question, the answer will be one of three athletes. In order to earn points, a contestant must buzz in and answer the question correctly. If a player gets it right on the first try, they will receive three points. If a player answers incorrectly, they will not lose any points, but the other contestant will be given a chance to steal for two points. Now the question with the most points after 10 questions will move on with a chance to complete the triple play. So we're talking about nicknames here, you guys. So we're going to discuss Nomar for Nomar Garcia Power, which isn't really a nickname, but a unique name. A-Rod for Alex Rodriguez and Mr. October. Actually, he's Mr. November. Mr. October would be Reggie Jackson, but Mr. November, Derek Cheater. So go ahead and shake hands, you guys. Good luck. Good luck to you. And get your hands square on the table. And look, here we go. Question number one. He did not play at Georgia Tech. Josh. Uh, Jeter. No, actually, Jeter did play at, no at uh, Georgia Tech, along with no Mark Garcia Pire. So, I gave away the answer if I give you a chance to steal. You probably had it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, Jeter did. didn't go to college, yeah. did he? I believe he did. No, he, I, he was we're going to throw out that question. You know what? I've got, I've got extra questions. We're just going to throw that one out completely. We're gonna, the scores are at zero. No points won, no points lost. So, let's try this again. He has not played for the Yankees. Dan. Garcia Parra, Nomar. Nomar has not played for the Yankees. That is correct. You get three points, and I don't even need to question that one. I know <laughs> that one's right. He is nicknamed Mr. November. That would be Josh. Cheater. Derek Cheater is correct for three points. And when you get that, Dan, just keep your hand on there. Don't just go don't get a little, little twitch. <laughs> just give it a hard slap. So three points for you on that one, Josh. Number four is known for the toe-tapping maneuver. Nomar. Nomar is correct. I had to give it the Nomar! You just had to throw that in there, yeah. didn't you? So, so three points for you on that one, Josh. Question five. I'm sorry, question four. Signed the largest contract, Josh. A-Rod. A-Rod is correct. He signed it for 10, 10 years, 252 million. Two. To be exact. A little, bit, a little bit of good money for him. <laughs> a little bit. Question five. He grew up in the state of... Yeah. Jeter. Jared Jeter did grow up in the state of Michigan. You are correct. So three points for you on that one, Josh. So we've gone through this round pretty quickly. We're going to run through the scores, but I think it's a little one-sided for Josh. He's got the little reaction time. And we're going to check with our stat keeper. 12 for Josh, 3 for Dan. We are 12 for Josh and 3 for Dan. So Dan, you've got quite a lot of ground to make up here, but it's just all about the reaction. So here we go. Question 6. In the 2006 MLB season, go ahead. <laughs> Nomar. No, it is not Nomar Carson <laughs> Josh can wait until I'll finish the question. Took second in the 2006 AL batting average. Jeter. Their Jeter is correct. He did take second behind catcher Joe Maurer for the Minnesota Twins. Two points awarded to Josh on that one. Question seven. He is the only player with a champion. 
Gosh. Jeter. Derek Jeter is correct. He's the only one with a championship ring between Derek Jeter, Nomar Garcia Parra, and Alex Rodriguez. Because Nomar got traded from the Red Sox before the Red Sox won a title. So three points to Josh on that one. This player is married. Josh. Nomar. Nomar. Can you tell me who he's he married to? Mia Hamm. Mia Hamm. He was married to Mia Hamm. And I'm not feeding him the answers in any way if anyone's getting that, that, that thought in their mind. Josh is just this buzzer faster than I've ever seen anyone be <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep it clean here. Question number nine. Has 10 all-star appearances. Dan. Cheater. No, he is not have 10. A-Rod. A-Rod has 10 all-star appearances. Three more points for Josh. And our final question. He has not been a teammate. I'm gonna finish the question before you get the answer. Of Randy Johnson. Go ahead. No more. No more is correct. I think you would have guessed that anyways. Yeah, and eventually. Well, that's three more points for Josh. It's been pretty one-sided, so let's take a look at the results anyways. 25 for Josh, three for Josh. 25 points for Josh and Dan, three points. Dan, I'm very sorry that this round didn't go well for you. You did, did put up really good numbers in the first round, and unfortunately you didn't have the reaction time for this one, but we thank you for coming on the show, and you do get to walk away with a $10 gift certificate to the bookstore, so you don't get to walk, walk away, away. <laughs> well, empty-handed. So you can get whatever you need, toiletries, a new shirt, perhaps. Maybe something like this, because this one costs $10. It's a nice shirt. Nice. It looks nice. It looks, nice. It looks, it looks very professional. But is there anything else you want to say before, you, before we uh, toss the commercial? No, thanks. Thanks for having me. Oh, no problem. Thanks for coming on the show. Now, when we come back, Josh will step into the batter's box and he will test his sports trivia knowledge. Can he complete the triple play? Stick around and find out.